what is going on everybody welcome back to nintendo land and of course coming in the next couple days is the big nintendo switch online playtest so if you got into it it looks like we now know exactly what it's going to be as the files have completely leaked even with images but i can't show you the images nintendo is consistently taking down pictures and videos that show these images so i'm not going to show them i'm not even going to blur them i'm not going to give them any reason to take down the video or to flag me for something but we have a lot of details nintendo is now telling people to complete their participation registration and they're going to receive a download code which they can then download onto their nintendo switch where they will get a separate app for this play test which is pretty cool but what's also very interesting is we know exactly what you'll be playing because it's not an old game. It's not GameCube games. In fact, it's something completely new. It's a brand new style of game that's pretty much an MMO, which if you don't know what MMO stands for, is massive multiplayer online games. And you've probably seen lots of them like World of Warcraft, RuneScape, EVE Online, and Lost Ark are just a couple of examples. But there are these massive world building games that you can play with millions of other people online as well and it's something nintendo has never really had mostly because their servers probably could never handle something so hardcore but we know from some images that it seems like nintendo is doing just that it seems to be some type of game which allows you to pretty much evolve and build a planet in different sectors with tons of people online and i'm going to try to explain the pictures and what's said on each one so the first slide says the game's purpose in this game the goal is to work with others to fully develop a massive expansive planet by utilizing creativity and farmed resources as you progress across the planet you'll discover new lands enemies and resources that will become essential to your journey and the image shows a giant globe with tons of blue squares all over it which seems to be the formation of the lands that lots of the players are building with tons of black squares which seems to be like lands uncharted so far and tons of icons showing all the players and different text boxes all over the place it just seems to be a huge planet that's growing a civilization across the entire planet which it is pretty big the next section says how to develop throughout your adventure players will be granted special tools known as beacons these beacons emit a healing light that purifies and develops the land the higher your beacon is placed the wider its beacon zone becomes within your beacon zone your best work can be done players will repeat the process until their current planetary block is considered fully developed. And this is pretty much zooming into one of the individual squares on the planet, I think, and showing your own little beacon where you're growing land, where you can see some really tall trees that people have built. It kind of gives off a Minecraft style. It's very blocky, like you can place all these blocks and pretty much build things. You can see some people have built clouds up as high as they could go, um, different structures to reach as high as you can go. But I guess the higher you build up and place a beacon, the bigger your little zone is going to be and you'll slowly be filling up the planet by filling up each individual square and there'll be lots and lots of people doing this as well which seems pretty interesting because if i'm not mistaken i think a whopping 10,000 people in total were able to actually join in this thing and then for the last slide it says the dev core the dev core is a separate space for the planet you'll be developing think of it as a social hub to gather with other players at the dev core, you can level up your character, get items you will need for your journey, commune with others, and more. So this is pretty interesting. This shows a little room uh, separated one side red, one side blue. But it shows all these different little caveman looking characters working together. There's different shades and different colors for the characters, white, black, you know, it's pretty cool. And they are all wearing this orange caveman shirt, and they have long hair that's covering their face. But it looks like little toy cavemen running around, and they're all like kind of laying around talking to each other. Some are doing busy work, picking up blocks, carrying them to other stations. So it seems like you can gather here and maybe even voice chat. Like it seems as if there's going to be some type of proximity chat, or maybe it's not that. It's just like pre-designated text boxes that you can put up like we've seen in like Splatoon and stuff, like specific dialogues that you can say. I don't know, but it'd be really cool if you could actually communicate. I feel like for a game like this, you need to be able to communicate. So maybe it will have something like proximity chat, which is something that they're also testing the waters with for games like Splatoon or something like that, uh, or maybe even Mario Kart. But I think that's actually really cool. And this is something that we definitely didn't expect from Nintendo. There's a couple of other images, but it's really hard to make out what's going on and really like read the words of everything. But yeah, it just seems like Nintendo is testing the waters for a very high end, you know, high capacity player MMO 
for something, and this doesn't seem like to be the actual game, but more like a straight up test. Everything looks very testy in the images, so I wonder if there is some type of huge game coming, and that's what this is all kind of boiling down to. This does seem to be released, I believe, in two days, which is on Wednesday, which is also very interesting, because there is a rumor out there claiming that there is some type of Switch 2 reveal or trailer, some sort of something for Switch 2 happening this Wednesday. I don't buy it. I still don't believe it until Nintendo actually shows it, but it is making things a lot more interesting. Something else that's even more interesting is Sakurai is actually having a presentation, his last presentation on his YouTube channel before wrapping up, and he's urging people to watch it tomorrow, which is a day before that. In that rumor, it does talk about a Kid Icarus Uprising remake as part of the games shown in the trailer or the reveal session for Switch 2. So that's pretty interesting, so we're just gonna have to wait and see, but it seems like things are all kind of happening this week. Now there's a very good chance that absolutely nothing happens, and Nintendo instead just has this playtest program and nothing else comes from it. And we just have to sit and continue waiting, which probably is going to be the case. But who knows, things are once again pointing up and hopefully there's something that's going to come out of this. But back to the MMO, this is a really good idea. I feel like right now Nintendo doesn't have many great online multiplayer games, and I've talked about this a lot, and I've said really it's just Splatoon. I know you got games like Mario Kart and Smash Brothers, but they don't ever feel online focused, and their online just doesn't really work that well. So I'm really looking forward to some type of, you know, online focused game. I'm talking about a game that you buy and you physically have to play online to enjoy any of it. And that's pretty much Splatoon. I want something else along those lines or something that's just more focused on online multiplayer. More shooters, you know, more engaging games to play with others. For instance, I know Mario Party is doing that right now. Maybe something like Metroid Prime 4 or Beyond having some type of core multiplayer mode. Maybe eventually a Star Fox game having a core online multiplayer mode with rankings and leaderboards and stuff or whatever this next game is could be something that's very huge and maybe it's a huge title coming to switch 2 maybe it's something nintendo's been cooking for a while and now they're ready to test it with the current switch and see if people are really interested in it because obviously switch 2 is going to be able to run it even better and probably have the better servers that they're testing for it right now but we're just gonna have to wait and see of course if you got in you'll be able to fully test this thing out coming up on wednesday but yeah like i said i wish i could share the images with you nintendo's just taking everything down right now and flagging videos and pictures that are up right now of it so you're just gonna have to find the pictures on your own you can definitely look online different social medias and you should be able to find some of them that are still up but thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things nintendo all the time and like always i'll see you all on the next one see you guys